Tonight, St. Louis City Police say they need more staff to fully address what some call a state of emergency. Domestic violence cases accounted for almost 25% of homicides in 2023. And now tonight, only fours Melanie Johnson got an inside look at St. Louis City Police's unit that's tackling this silent epidemic. He went from hate mail talking my head, you're going with me to try to put me in this trunk. I fought. Tawana Coleman is telling Okay, me so now we're getting the real story. <laughs> this is what's really going on. All the other shit was bullshit. This is what black women are really dealing with. A silent epidemic. He went from hate mail talking my head, you're going with me to try to put me in this trunk. I fought. Tawana Coleman is telling her story from a safe space. My family couldn't have been right there looking at me in a graveyard. She says her boyfriend tried to kill her, shedding tears for the family of another woman who lost her life. These kids got to go to a graveyard. These kids got to look at pictures and video. That's not fair to them. Markeisha Williams died in December. The father of her four children, Trenton Ivy, confessed to her murder and dumping her body. St. Louis County is still waiting for him to be extradited from Wisconsin, where he was arrested. Because we're black, we African-American women. They don't care. <laughs> that didn't take long. That didn't take long. That was long. quick. There's, there's some people in literally like every position of leadership in the city, I bet. I don't even know. I'm just guessing, but 90% probably. <laughs> Any thoughts on the people who are actually fucking doing the crime, sister? And not these imaginary they that don't care about you? <laughs> Wisconsin, where he was arrested. Because we're black, we African-American women. They don't care. They don't care until we dead. Zoe says she's walking in Marquis. So who did it to you? Right now, she's hiding from her kid's father. It's not, it's easy oh. to just leave someone. You okay. She's hiding from her kid's father. Mm. Wow. But it's them that don't care about the them. police for shit. And them that don't care about her. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Look how ridiculous. Gladys need to care about you, man. That's, that's more important than anything to her. Gladys caring about her. That's why she's hiding with her hey, face turned to the camera. Person. Yeah, with a scully on and shit. Have shot you with guns, have choked you out. We handle a lot of domestic assaults in the city. The head of St. Louis City Police Domestic Abuse Response Team tells First Man. Alert 4, 39 of the city's homicides last year were due to domestic violence. They average somewhere between 110 cases a year. Last year, we had our domestic violence unit. We investigated 546 domestic assaults. That's just our unit. Coleman says despite years of violence and her accused abuser facing felony charges, he only received probation. Justice wasn't sir. I cried in the courtroom. And now that he's out on the streets, none of these women are safe. 14,000 domestic violence incidents were reported to St. Louis City Police in 2020. That's a fucking lot, man. God, that's a lot. That's a huge double. Is that more than Memphis? Does anybody remember? Because Memphis, we did a video on them. The sisters was calling the 911 off the fucking ringer, man. They had that fucking tired with dispatchers and shit. Yeah, I remember you, you covered them. Yeah, this is what this is what sisters are going through. This all that shit about the talk and white women running around calling you the sun word and chasing you around. No, this is what sun women. This is what sun women do. They call the police on sun men fourteen thousand times in a year in one city. God damn, that's a lot, bro. <laughs> that, and that's just domestics. Imagine like everything else included. This is crazy. What's the uh, racial demographics of St. Louis? Is it majority sons? Um, um it's, I think it's like sixty. Somebody look it up. Somebody give us the. I think it was sixty last time I checked. 
It might be down to fifty. Okay. I don't know. So out of this fourteen thousand is probably thirteen thousand eight hundred sons. Yeah, yeah. I would say so. So I don't get it. They call them the cops, but the cops are supposed to be racist and hate <laughs> some people, but here they are calling them when their son thug is beating them up. Like Yeah. They, they, Funny, they, huh? they know they know all that other shit is just lies and bullshit. This is the truth. This is what they deal yep. with. And this is just part of it. Because they also deal with street crime. They're the most targeted oh, yeah. group when it comes to street crime, the most targeted group when it comes to carjackings. Um yeah, this is this is what black women are dealing with. All that other shit is bullshit. And they're terrible people for, for for promoting that the other bullshit is what they're fucking really concerned about. Um, salute to uh, Miss S66. Hit that like button. Shout out to LRLRS. I'm going to do it once again. IA says, with Adam 22, sons would even compete for access to gliders, even in the bedrooms. Something strange in the son's mind. Even no sound unturned. Yeah, sons are, we're, we're sick. We're crazy to be getting on the news talking about police brutality and women, black women talking about their sons. They fear for their sons leaving the house. And y'all calling the police on some men 14,000 times in one, <laughs> in one fucking city. Like, this is just this city. <laughs> 14,000 domestic violence incidents were reported to St. Louis City Police in 2023. The highest number of cases happened in May and December with 1,270 reports coming in both months. Our unit is understaffed, but most of our departments are understaffed. Lieutenant Thomas Muldrow is asking the mayor and police chief to expand his five detective crew. Six will be make our unit fully staffed. It's a request survivors hope is granted in the name of a St. Louis woman whose life was taken. It's hard to get away. Some women, they go back and forth because the police don't do everything they should do. Melanie Johnson, first alert. She goes back to her abuser because the police don't do everything that they should do. So you're the news. They got five people working on that. Salute to Hot Fire, man. He says, maybe stop letting Poopy and Ray Ray slide up in the coochie raw dog. They're keeping their demon seed. Then they'll blame the square or educated lame for not protecting themselves. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're gonna blame, they're gonna blame everybody but Poopy. They love Poopy. They love Poopy, man. Um, that's why she just said that stupid shit. We go back. Because the police, you go back because the police don't do everything. You mean the police don't do everything? The police ask you to press charges. Half the time, y'all don't press charges. Yeah, for away. real. They go back because the yeah, they're using the cops as like a, a mediator or as a um, relationship um, therapist. Counselor. Or couples therapy. Yeah, counselor. They're not yeah. using him to fucking lock the guy because half the time when the cops come, they 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 changed their mind and shit. And they want the cops just to come. I we just wanted you to come so you could calm him down. Like what? You need no, I don't know. you need a group of men with guns and shit to come call your boyfriend down. Take it. It's hard to get away. Well. Some women they go back and forth because the police don't do everything they should do. Melanie Johnson, first alert four. This woman is sick for what? Like for that statement right there. Woman is sick for saying some shit like that. That doesn't even make any sense. So, like, <laughs> my know. boyfriend's beating my ass. The cops didn't put him in jail, so I'm going to get back with him. That makes no sense. No, weird. The cops put him in jail because you're going to jail. Trust me. If they call him, you're going to jail. But the prosecutor can only go forward with the case sometimes if the woman, you know what I'm saying, Pressing charges, or well, she a lot of times the woman would not press charges the next day because they're not they're not mad on they're not he, he's not beating her ass. She calling the police to get this some word off of her. 
Now he's not owner no more. And now he's like in a holding cell waiting to get to go to court. And now she's like, oh my God. She and the hit, let me tell you this too. Some mm-hmm. women are miserable a lot of times. They talk so much shit. If you if you I don't think other guys understand the to the type of shit that some men go through with some women. Some women talk shit all day. I mean, they they create arguments out of thin air. So so some women do have a role to play in this because they'll they'll provoke you. They never shut up. They don't know when to shut up. They sassy. They foul mouthed. They um keep shit going. They're fucking um annoying. Just listen to Patrice O'Neill, man. Patrice O'Neill sums it up a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, they call people little dick faggots. Yes, some women are. Some women are, are tough to deal with, man. Which is the reason why when some men get money, they usually date white women. So, uh, some women are not innocent in all these all these situations. They're very hard to deal with. Yeah, I believe it. Extremely hard to deal with. They talk a lot I'm of at, shit. I'm gonna have to try that. See if that's true. Nah, man, just take our word for it, man. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was with a, uh, just... I was with a mulatto, a half sun woman. Mm. But she was, she was pretty chill. Mm, that's good, man. But sun sisters talk a lot of shit, man. Like this one. Ones like this and the fucking braids and shit. They talk a lot of shit, man. Um, they keep shit going. Like they don't let shit go. Like they'll keep some shit going for years. They always want to like have problems with the women in your family. Always want to like be beefing with your mom and beefing with your sisters and shit. Fucking terrible, man. Mm-hmm. Um, Even with does your brown mom, sugar give just, off those does, does brown sugar give off those vibes? Um well she's a sun woman, so we don't know what her what she's like off the show, but as far as like having a mouth, I'm sure she has a mouth, but anything else I don't I can't speak on. But as far as having a mouth, sassy, I'm, I'm sure all I mean from sassy. from yeah, in my opinion. From what you described, how some women are, and the way she sometimes just flies off the handle, I, I, yeah, I'd probably say she was like that. Yeah, all some women are sassy. All of them. sassy. I'm talking about like keeps you like start some shit out of thin air and put you through a lot of shit, man. Some men strong, man. Some men strong, and they 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 deal with a lot of shit, man. You see a sun man, um, and a sun woman walk into a place like say you in the movies, and the sun couple walk in, or you in a bar, and the sun couple walk in. It's a ninety percent chance that they was arguing in the car. <laughs> like literally, and, um, <laughs> hey, brown, brown sugar sun man probably feels blessed. She found your channel. She so he can get away for a little bit for like two three hours. He's probably happy as hell. Like, oh, good God, thank God she found him. Yeah. Oh, Salute to, to Mr. Sugar, man. And on that note, man, same black time. Same black channel. I'm out of here. Peace out. Salute, Chief. Much love, y'all.